Right, so once we're inside of Messenger Bot, then what we have is we have these whole host of different things. So let's start at the very beginning with bot settings. Now, bot settings <coughs> holds a huge amount of details within your chatbot. So as you'll see here, first off, we have a load of different um, settings here. Now, all of these are actually built in the floor and then they're saved here. This means that once you save them appearing here, what you can then do is you could export them um, into a template. You can do messenger tree view, right? You can do messenger bot analytics, so it'll tell you um, all the rest of it. Do page analytics. It'll do import the bot settings. This is where obviously you can bring in a new chatbot. I'll show you a different way of doing that as well. And you've got your visual flow campaigns. Now all these are built on the visual flow, so don't worry too much about that. Now you also have your plus variables, right? Now your plus variables are things that you can repeat back to somebody. Um, hang on, how do you put this? Right, you can repeat back to somebody. So say for example, somebody gives them the, your phone number, their phone number. What you can then do is you can call their phone number straight back to them, all right? So that's what one of the variable kind of things is. So if you're looking for homes, then it could be a three bedroom home, so on and so forth. Right, now next you've got your get started settings. Now this is get started and welcome message. Right, now then, um, this actually here is a little bit redundant because it's actually made within the floor builder, all right? So you no need to worry about it too much. Now in amongst here as well, you also have icebreakers. Now this is where you can ask questions, right? Now I don't particularly like it, but I'll show you as an example. So how can I order food? And um, we'll put on the questions and what we'll then do is we'll go down here and we're going to boom, 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 see menu floor, all right? And then that would then enable people to ask for food as soon as they come into the actual chatbot. Now you can obviously add more messages and all the rest of it. I think we're allowed up to 11 messages at the moment with Facebook. Right, remember once everything's changed as well to click save. Right, next you have general settings. Now general settings, you have an awful lot of things in here. So first off, um, you can mark a scene status. So this means that people will see, as soon as they look at their messages, it'll look as though you've actually seen their message. And you've also got chat with human email. So what we can do is we can put that down there and reply that if no match found. So if they type something in that we don't have a match for, then straight away we can do the chat with human template. Now you've also got all of these various integrations. So you've got MailChimp integration, Send in Blue, Active Campaign, um, Mortic, Excel, SMS integration, and email integration with a email API, right? This is where you can actually do the auto send yourself. Now you've got SMS sequence integration, so we can put a particular sequence in there. Um, we can also select the sequence campaign. We have email sequence integration, so this is the API of it. So we we'll then have to select the API and go into it. Now, I have active campaign set up on mine. Um, I love active campaign to bits, it's been very, very good. So we'll just put Cypher Chat and more, all right? But obviously this is for a restaurant floor, so we wouldn't actually have that. But it'll go inside of your active campaign. It'll show you all the various different um, sequences that you actually have built out within active campaign or any of your other email followers. Now next you have your action button settings. Now again, these are on the floor builder. So you have get start and template. So what would happen when they get started? Right, I'm just gonna show you all the various bits, but obviously this one goes to floor builder, like I say. Um, you have, oops, you have no match template, you have unsubscribe template, resubscribe template, email quick reply templates, phone quick reply template, location quick reply template, birthday quick reply template, chat with human quick reply template, and chat with robot quick reply template. Now all of these where it says quick reply email template, that is when you have all of these, the email, phone, location, birthday, will all come up and it'll pre-populate their answers. Now, once they've clicked on the answer or put in their own email address or something similar, then what will then happen is this will actually take you to the reply. So wherever the reply goes to, this will be it, all right? Again, we can do that within um, Flow Builder. Now you've also got your persistent menu settings. So here you can set your persistent menu. So if we have a look here, then what we've got is we have two questions. So as soon as they come in, they're gonna get asked two questions. We'd like to see the menu, which is going to the wrong place. Um, so we'll just change that. Bum, 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 bum. Now where is menu flow? There we go. Right, so see menu flow and more, which is just taking them straight to the restaurant floor. All right, so that's that one done as well. Now you can also create a new persistent menu. 
and you can do the various different options. So publish persistent menu, remove persistent menu, complete it yourself. And then also you have messenger settings, all right, for the sequences. Now, the messenger settings themselves for the sequences in messenger sequence, then Floor Builder will actually produce them better. However, on the SMS and email sequence, we can go in here and we can add a sequence. We can then say it's going to be for email. So we'll name the campaign as test. And say, for example, we're going to send this one minute after they click in. All right, so then we'll um, just put in the message. That's what thing we'll do. Um, we'll have more hours, more losers. And this is where, when we've already connected the email together, this is all cool and it'll all work. And you've also got the SMS. So exactly the same sort of thing. So they send them an SMS message straight away as soon as they've logged in. So it means that you've got everybody completely covered from the beginning of bot settings. Right. So let's keep on going. 